you know what men out there that can call women? Former X Factor contestant Lucy Spragan has revealed she left the show when she was raped by a porter in the hotel room where she was staying after partying with Rylan Clark during production of the show in 2012. Scouted for the competition at just 20, Spragan has now told how she felt let down by ITV as she explained why she was forced to leave the show abruptly in a new memoir, Process, Finding My Way Through. Having previously been a gating artist, The X Factor was the singer's big break and she became the first contestant to play an instrument and sing her own song last night in her audition, which became the world's fourth most watched video that year. But having made it through three live shows, the brutal attack left her unable to continue the show due to strong side effects of pet medication a drug given to her by doctors which can prevent someone contracting HIV. The assault is said to have happened after fellow contestant Rylan Clark's 25th birthday party, where staff and singers were given free alcohol ultimately leading to Spragan, now 31, falling unconscious. She told The Guardian how a member of the production team escorted the singer back to the hotel from the Mayfair Mahiki nightclub where a hotel porter offered to help return Spragan safely to her room. But as the staff member left her room, the porter is said to have manually prevented the room from locking automatically. She and Clark had allegedly been sent to the hotel on Edgware Road, away from the Corinthia where the show usually housed its performers, with 24-hour security. Spragan described how she believed this was part of their storyline for the show, in which they were known for partying and staying out late. Some time later, Clark arrived back at the hotel and checked in on his fellow contestant, crucially then ensuring her door was locked before he left her asleep. This meant that the porter then had to use a traceable keycard in order to get into the room and commit the rape, she explained. The next day, Spragan woke up and instantly knew something was wrong. She told The Guardian, I woke up the next day with this sense of sheer dread. I don't think I've ever felt that level of confusion since. I knew that I'd been raped, but I could not process that. So I put my clothes on and went into autopilot. After telling Clark, who she describes as a fierce advocate for her, production staff were informed and police were called. She was prescribed pep which, if taken within the first 72 hours of having sex, can stop the spread of HIV, but it left her feeling too ill to continue singing in the show. Spragan said she had wanted to come clean about why she suddenly quit the X Factor, but claims various people encouraged her not to. Now she is frustrated at the lack of aftercare she received upon leaving the competition, as although she reportedly received medical and financial support in the immediate aftermath, she says she had no support after trial.